Preserving the ability to deploy applications to multiple clouds is vital to a successful cloud strategy. Whether you want to move from public cloud to private, private to public, switch providers, or deploy into a new geography, maintaining multi-cloud flexibility is critical. Cloud Foundry makes multi-cloud choice real today. The demo that you're about to see shows the flexibility offered through Cloud Foundry by showing a multi-cloud deployment using Spring STS. The application, called Visitors, is available on GitHub. It is a Spring Java app and uses MongoDB to store its data. This application requires no code changes to be deployed across any of the Cloud Foundry-based clouds, giving it universal portability. This is the same portability available to any developer that chooses Cloud Foundry as their platform. Hello, this is Dave McCrory, and I'm going to show you a multi-cloud deployment and now we can simply drag and drop visitors down to the micro cloud foundry instance here and you'll see that it's already selected spring we are not going to start the application yet we're going to select finish so the reason we did that is if we look inside now it's deployed and if we double click uh, you'll see that we don't have a service go ahead and add that right now so mongo dash visitors and we're going to add it as a MongoDB. And it created the service. We select visitors and then we drag and drop the service that it depends on. And now we're going to start. Be able to click here. And there's our application running. Now we'd like to go ahead and deploy an instance to cloudfoundry.com. So all we have to do is drag and drop to cloudfoundry.com. Select next. We do not want to start the application. Same as before because it has a dependency on that uh, Mongo service. We're going to click here. Here's our visitors app. We'll double click once again. And we're going to add our Mongo dash visitors along with selecting Mongo and now we have a Mongo visitors here we will drag and drop so here's our visitors and you'll see it's moving and there's our Mongo instance we're going to start the application now in just a few seconds we will have uh, our visitors app deployed on the VMware Cloud Foundry site. And if we click, here's our new instance deployed to Cloud Foundry. Now what would be really interesting is if we had some non-VMware based clouds that we could deploy to as well. Now we have three new clouds that we can deploy to. So we will drag and drop to AppFog. Again, not starting the app, but deploying it. So you can watch the status of that. You'll see it's deployed. Going to then do the same thing to the Instratus cloud. Same steps. And finally, we're going to do that same thing to the Tier 3 cloud. We can click on the link. And there we go. There's our running AppFog instance. And let's do the Instratus instance now. There's our Instratus instance running now. And let's go ahead and do the Tier 3 instance. And there we go. We now have five deployments of our app. This shows how easy it is to deploy an app across multiple clouds with virtually no additional effort, simple drag and drop, no code changes, 
very, very easy to do.